hi everyone welcome back to my channel hope that you all are having a wonderful day today um i woke up and i felt it's been some days and i felt like talking about bullying have i been bullied yes um so i told everyone i'm from the caribbean and um in my younger years like my teens and my childhood days i experienced a lot of bullying it was not easy for me at times um how i got through it all was my mom and my family support um the thing about my family um i was it was a norm or it was part of the it was part of our everyday life to come home and discuss what happened in school with my mom or my siblings, my sisters and my dad. That's how I knew it. So if I cried, I did not have to hide what had happened. I could speak to my mom. My mom was my biggest cheerleader. She always supported me. She always made me believe that I was beautiful, that I was um, smart, that I was born to stand out. And she always used to tell me, she say, um, Camille, you have five fingers and they are all not the same size. Persons who bully me because of my size, the way I, I looked, and the way my hair was, something I may have said. I felt like I didn't have a place anywhere. I felt left out. Most times I spent, like now summertime, I spent my time inside. And my mom felt it. She felt sorry for me. She always told me, Camel, go all get out there. And even in secondary school, high school, I had friends, but I still felt left out because I was the chubby one, the heavy one, and I did not feel like I fit in, right? The bullying at primary school was really tough on me because it happened every, mostly every day. It was your fat, your pig, your this, your that. I really got to me. Um, the persons now, they, they may be adults now and they never realized how they impacted my life. I thank them for saying all those things to me because it made me stronger. It made me look inside of myself and it made me reevaluate the things that they said that affected me and I used that negativity to be, make it into a positive something. Um, today I'm a grown woman and I'm striving to be a better person. I'm not 100% there yet. I am not a small figured person, but I've come a long way health wise. I used to abuse myself by overeating, by um, bullying myself. I was bullying myself because I felt like, why are you so ugly? Why are you so fat? Why are you so disgusting? I felt disgusted with myself persons may not know that because i smile so much i'm a happy person right but these things all affected me and i really started to get stronger and when i realized how intelligent i was how smart that i was and i was just focusing on that one thing oh i'm overweight oh i'm too fat to fit in oh this or oh, that i realized that well why am i doing this to myself when I there are so many other things about me that is beautiful and when persons used to say oh you're beautiful I would feel I did not know how to accept that um accept them the person saying that I was beautiful because I I did not feel that way because of all that bullying that I went through you know, it was tough accepting a lot of things, accepting myself for who I was and what I was. It's hard being bullied. I never went as much to suicide because I had that support, that family support. My mom, my dad, my sisters and so were always there for me, always hold my back. I used to... I used to act out by fighting and so with persons who bullied me for one reason or the other. I would 
tell to you young people and to persons around the world that sometimes in life you don't have to do people anything you don't have to say anything negative to them you don't have to fight them there are sometimes people just don't like you for who the way you look for who you are the things that you believe in the way that you carry yourself uh, for you, the way how intelligent you are persons would see you and just not like you the way that your your skin looks different reasons so sometimes you're beating beating yourself wondering well how can how what can i do to make them accept me and in reality you have to learn to accept yourself the way that you are the only how you can build yourself the only way you can get better is by examining yourself accepting yourself and sitting and thinking of all the things where you went wrong what you can do to better it if that's what you want to do because it's not easy it's not easy and even as an adult i go through situations where before i would just break down and i would cry seriously i would cry over it and now i'm i'm like no i'm not gonna cry nobody's gonna make me feel weak because i really sat down and i really reevaluated my life i dealt with the issues that were bothering me and i said no you're not gonna get me down you're not gonna get the best out of me i'm gonna walk away and i'm gonna leave the people that don't like me the people that sees me and have a negative um feeling about me i'm gonna leave them where they are sometimes answering back or giving them trying to solve whatever problem they have with you it doesn't work it just gets worse so now as an adult i am working on me so and i am building myself I'm not going to focus on every person that do not like me because trust me if you go to focus on everyone that do not like me that do, does not like you you're going to waste your whole life away while they are living their life some people that bully others they themselves have self-esteem problems they themselves are suffering they themselves are sad inside and sometimes that's the only way they can get attention is by bullying others is by breaking down others to make themselves feel good because they know that at the end of the day they themselves have issues that they are dealing with that they are trying to get over and trust me sometimes we just have to sometimes these people are the most persons with the most set of problems in their life so most time i would tell to i would say to any any person to don't waste your time trying to figure out why they don't like you why they are doing this just focus on yourself build yourself use those negative things that they say or those negative things they throw at you to make yourself stronger walk away and accept yourself when you look in the mirror you see you there is no other person that looks like you that can speak like you that would be born tomorrow or today that is this one person we have one life to live and life is something that can end at any time it's not guaranteed that you live to reach 80 70 years so every day is a blessing in, in itself and every day you get closer and closer you can get closer and closer to the dreams, the goals, the things that you're supposed to be focused, you're supposed to focus on that needs your attention than spending so much time trying to figure out why persons feel this way or why they did this to you. You just have to leave it where it is and focus on building yourself because life, trust me, it's not guaranteed. Today, I can be talking here now and you never know it's not guaranteed trust me so i hope this video has been helpful to you um i will try to do many more videos like this but for now i'm just gonna leave this one with you um please like and subscribe to my channel i am a new youtuber and there's so many things that i would like to get out there too 
persons all around the world um you have to believe in yourself you must believe in yourself no one else can see you if you don't believe in yourself don't use all the negative things that person show at you don't use it to harm yourself use it as a way to make yourself stronger use all those negative things to build yourself and at the end of it all you're gonna see why you have to go through each and everything to reach where you are today so have a blessed day and see you guys soon bye